Hey, welcome back to Babyface Brewery View. I'm Alex, uh, your guide and commentator here. Uh, for you guys and folks who don't know, who probably don't, um, I was in the beer review game for a little while and then opted out, and uh, now I'm coming back and reestablishing myself, so kind of an awkward process or whatnot, but uh, I think I'm here to stay for the most part in the long haul. So anyway, uh, we got a s super fresh beer here today. I'm super excited to review with all of you. Um, this is right on my backyard in Seattle, Washington. This is Lush IPA. Um, this beer clocks in at 7% alcohol by volume, 80 IBUs. Uh, it's a spring seasonal release, which I think they'll f they'll rotate into a year-round offering because the critical reception has been friggin' phenomenal. Um, getting into the accolades, um, Beer Advocate puts it um, at a very good category, which is 89 overall. Rate Beer gives it a 98, uh, 97 overall, a 98 in the style, so some really good stuff going on there. And then on Tapped has it at 4.04 caps out of 7,000 uh, ratings, which is awesome. That's really, really good. Um, I've had this beer a few times before. It's phenomenal. This is super fresh. It's packaged on um, canned on the 2nd of March, as you can see there, there today's date is the 8th, so just some really, really good, good stuff going on here, Fremont absolutely crushes it with their barrel age game, they just got number 1 uh, for their Kentucky Dark Star um, on the Paste Magazine um, barrel age stout um, review, so just awesome, awesome stuff to back up what they're already doing, uh, but anyway, let's get this into a glass and see what's going on and what's shaking with the Fremont Lush IPA. Super hazy for the most part. Pouring kind of like a bright golden amberish color. Really nice, nice looking beer in the glass. Head is fantastic. About two and a half, or a finger and a half, two fingers worth of head. Super tightly compact bubbles. Kind of like an off khaki eggshell color and complexion there. Um, very hazy, like I said. Some mild carbonation streaming up from the bottom there, as you can see. If I swirl it around, see if we could get, get any glass lacing or alcohol legs. See a little bit of spotty lacing there. And maybe a touch of alcohol legs for sure. Uh, but I can tell you right now, this thing is dank. I can smell it from back here. It smells awesome. So let's get into that aroma and the smells. Damn. Definitely like, like this like pale honey malt. Big, big citrus, orange juice, orange peel type stuff going on. There's like a little bit of an oniony dankness to this. Um, big tropical fruit as well. There's like passion fruit, pineapple peaches as well. Grapefruit, big grapefruit notes, some florally, florally nectar quality to this. Very minimal on the malt though, for sure. It's like a honey type pale malt. Really, really awesome smelling stuff. The hops in here are crazy. Wow. Okay. Well, cheers. Prost, whatever the hell you want to call it. Let's dive into the Lush IPA by Fremont Brewing Company, Seattle, Washington. Wow. Yeah, that's fantastic. So smooth. It is lush in the feel. Just like just like the name entails. Damn. Super good. Up front you get some like piney bitterness and then you just get like an onslaught of like orange zest and peel, big like ripe um red juicy grapefruit and then you get all those tropical fruits like a um, passion fruit, pineapple, big peach notes, mango, guava, and you get some of that honey malt um, on the back end, and then you turn back into, wow, some of that like piney bitterness is just kind of lingering um, on the back of the palate. Really, really nice. Minimal sweetness, not cloning at all. Really super, super good stuff here. Really impressed. Um, you know, as for the, the feel on it, um, like I said, it's lush. It's really soft and creamy, velvety. Um, not too heavy though for a seven percenter. Obviously, this is very, very hop heavy. Um, none of that sweetness is coming through. Alcohol for seven percent is not there. You're not tasting it. You're not smelling it. Um, it's really, really well done. Carbonation spot on for the style as well. So if we're going to transition into a grade here, um, I think it needs to be bumped up from an eighty-nine on Beer Advocate. I'm going to go with like a ninety. 92 or 3. I'm going to go with the 92. I think it's an A- minus beer. I think it's a really, really solid beer. It was like 9 bucks for the 6-pack on a seasonal release with the amount of hops that they're using is awesome. I don't know the hop profile, unfortunately, um, but this is really, really awesome stuff from Fremont. They just keep on uh, keeping on with what they've been doing and building that momentum. So, as for that, let me know what you guys think. Leave your comments below. Like, subscribe. Let's go back and forth. Um, let's get this Lush IPA um, 
let's 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 get the comments going. Let's get the dialogue going. Let's have a little discussion on this. I think it's a really good beer, and I hope you guys do enjoy it as well. As for always, cheers, prost. Thank you, each and every one of you, for stopping by. We'll see you all next time on Babyface Brew Review.